guys, it's your boy Alex West Collects here, bringing you the most in-depth action figure views here on YouTube. And today we're taking a WWE Mattel Champions Hulk Hogan featuring the Winged Eagle Championship belt. So if you guys are not familiar with this line, similar to the uh, Championship Showdown 2 packs, we're getting a basic figure with the dull finish of the Championship belt. You will see this does not have the shiny vac finish that we are accustomed to, but this is kind of a newer series. I've only seen Series 1 at retail. I picked this one up off of eBay. Um, I picked up Series 1 Rock, uh, which featured the Bromwell Championship belt. That retailed at 15 bucks, so slightly a little more than your standard basic because it comes with a belt. I believe basics a retail what eleven ninety nine that was a fourteen ninety nine uh, item so not too much more you get a belt with it uh, this is again series two so series one featured the Rock Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar I've only seen those at Kohl's I don't they're not a Kohl's exclusive I'm sure other retailers are going to carry them again this line is still kind of fairly new so I guess we're trying to figure out where we're going to be able to find them. Uh, like I said, I picked this one off of eBay. Uh, we did see Series 3 was announced, so it is going to continue. Series 3 will feature The Undertaker uh, with the Winged Eagle Championship belt, as well as the Usos with the Tag Team Championship belt. But Hogan was the only one I wanted from this set. I'll be honest, I don't even know who is uh, the other figures from this way. We'll take a look at the back of the packaging to kind of reveal that. But you see the awesome artwork here. You got the image of Hulk Hogan here. I uh, got the Champions logo, the new basic articulation for these figures. Really love this packaging for a uh, basic or main event figure, whatever you want to call it. It looks really premium. Let's bring him in real close. You will see he does come with the championship belt. Uh, he does have the hot dog tan. We have seen this mold with a t-shirt used many times before. He does have the removable headband as well as that head that we've seen him over and over again with the ultimate edition. Just looks really nice and premium for a basic. I do like the presentation on the back. So, okay, that's right. John Cena comes with the spinner belt. And this Stone Cold is pretty much a re-release of the championship showdown that came with the uh, Triple H figure. Also does come uh, with the uh, big eagle belt. Uh, so you can see a little read up here for Hulk signature move, the leg drop. Love the image, love the goal. Looks really good. But enough chatting. Let's get Hulk out of the packaging, take a look at this figure, and see what he's all about. Here we have the Hulkster out of the packaging, and we've seen this mold reused multiple times. Even the most recent uh, workout Hulk, what was that, Basic 142? Same uh, t-shirt design, uh, does have the new articulation, has a removable headband you can see on the figure, but he does come with this uh, championship belt, which is the selling point, obviously, to get you to buy this championship uh, showdown basic. That's kind of the gimmick that they include with it. It's kind of funny. This dulled down version does have the blue glow painted on here, but the brand new Ultimate Yokozuna does not have it. It's kind of funny that they include it on the basic, but not on that figure, but that looks good for what it is. I mean, it's not the best looking belt. I do prefer the vac finish. I wish they could find a way to, you know, put that in the budget and include it with this, but whatever, for basic, it looks okay. I don't really hate the look of it. You can see on the back. So if you guys do have an extra and prefer the shiny finish belts, you can uh, go that route too. Again, he's got the Hulkamania shirt here. Does have the rips in the back paint on there. So it looks pretty good. We've seen this before. The head sculpt is spot on. It is pretty awesome. This we've seen for a while too. Uh, going back as early as what? The Ultimate 13 Hulk Hogan figure. The headband is removable. Well, I dropped it. Of course, it's so tiny. Be careful. You don't lose these. Uh, but you can see how small it is. Again, this is the same bandana, I believe, as the Ultimate 13. We did see this on another basic, which I actually do have in my collection. I see the small Hulkamania font on there. It does kind of just pour in on the side of his hair. Goes in pretty easy. Actually, this one falls out a little easy too, but does look pretty good. Loves the, Love this head sculpt. It is solid. I kind of, I'm ready for some new Hulk Hogan skins. I feel like they've reused a lot of them uh, for a lot of the figures. I know the brand new uh, Legends figure coming out eventually. Two more series from now, we'll have a, a new a Hulk Hogan head sculpt for that WrestleMania 8. But again, we've seen this mold before. He does have the nice hot dog skin tan. Does have the red knee pads and the yellow boots. The boots do have the added hinge articulation just like all the other basic holds he does have the bicep cut we will go through some articulation one thing i wanted to point on his legs you guys can see that here if i can zoom in and capture that they like these indentations on his thighs i don't know what the deal is i don't know if it's on my other basics but i did notice it on both sides so that's a little bit of an eyesore it doesn't look that nice uh but the rest of the figure your standard hulk hogan we get yellow trunks he's got the white wrist tape let's go through some quick articulation the head will fully rotate and if you guys are not familiar uh the heads actually are removable on the brand new basics so i feel like uh a lot of people are not uh, don't know that so it's always nice to point it out again he does have the bicep swivel here he does have these single jointed elbows there with the pins he does have wrist articulation and rotation they do hinge you get the waist articulation here the thighs actually do Kind of swivel a little bit here if you guys can't see that not as there you go and you can see he does a splits about that much he does have these single jointed legs which still are a little tight 
there is a boot cut here. Again, they do hinge up and down. And this is not across all basics. Some of them do have this added articulation. Some do not. It's kind of a case-by-case -case basis. But everything you expect for your basic Hulk Hogan figure, let's jump to some comparisons and see how it stacks up. Starting off our comparisons, we have a few different basic Hulk Hogan figures. So on the left, we have the basic 139. You can see it is very similar to this new Champions Hulk Hogan basic. Uh, similar headband. The colors are a little different. It's a little darker red on the basic 139. Uh, I did add these accessories to kind of plus them up. So not all of them came with uh, this many stuff. Just to point that out if you guys were curious. We have the basic 142 figure here in the workout gear. I did check his legs. He also does have that weird kind of like hole or mark on the side so i don't know maybe it's just uh something to do with the molding of the plastic and then it, i forget what series this is from i think this is a walmart exclusive me that t-shirt basic series but uh you can see it is the same mold on this new uh champions hogan it's just obviously the skin tone is updated different head sculpt and as well as the brand new added articulation on the newer basic figures and if you were curious to see what this basic Hulk Hogan looks like uh, versus some other um, Hulk Hogan figures from the Mattel line, we have the Ultimate Series 13 Hulk Hogan, obviously a little taller than the basic Champions Hogan. Uh, right next to that, we have the Survivor Series Elite, which is going to re-release in the Greatest Hits with a different head. Uh, about the same height, I want to say, for the, the most part with these two. And something just a little different, obviously a different run of Hulk Hogan. We have the greatest figure of all time. We have Ultimate Edition Greatest Hits Hollywood Hogan. If you guys have enjoyed this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of these brand new Mattel Basic Champions pack. Do you like the idea? Do you not like them? Will you be adding this figure to your collection? And while you're at it, please don't forget to turn on those notification bells. Stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. My personal take on this basic Hulk Hogan figure, it's fun. Is it needed for your collection? Probably not. I'll be honest, I think this figure actually looks better in packaging than out of the box. I think, you know, there's uh, some really nice flair and design with that packaging to make it feel a little more premium. They've added the championship belt, so it's a little more than your standard basic figure. Uh, but if you have, you know, a, another Elite or even the Ultimate Hulk Hogan, those are going to be superior. Personally, I'm just a huge Hulkamaniac. I buy every single Hulk Hogan figure made by Mattel, which is giving me a little anxiety. It's nice that they're really in so many, don't get me wrong. But I'm running out of space and I'm trying to get really creative. I have one detail uh, dedicated to just Hulk Hogan. So uh, I'm only going to be picking up one from this set. Generally, I buy multiples, but I'm going to now kind of slow down a little bit and grab just maybe one of each basic. It's a fun figure. Don't get me wrong. It's just not needed for your collection unless you're a really huge Hulkamaniac. Uh, I do like the championship belt. I think even though it's a dull finish, it does look pretty good on this figure. It just has a nice vintage vibe. I do like that you're getting the removable headband. These head sculpts. I know, they look a little different than what we were getting with the Ultimates. I even said that with the basic 142. I don't know if it's just the way the uh, TrueFX technology is being applied. just looks a little better. I do like the way this looks. So uh, it's up to you guys. This will probably hit retail, I would hope, uh, fairly soon. Probably around $15 where they're at. So it's not too pricey, and it's a fun figure to add. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Before you go, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AlexWestCollects. Thank you again for your continued support, and tune in. I'll catch you all on the next one.